Uh, hi, I'm Abdullah Shakaji from uh, Qatar Academy and today I'm going to talk to you about uh, modular devices and uh, platform devices. So, in 2005, four years ago, uh, a company called Bug Labs introduced the bug. And uh, it basically started a revolution, just the concept of the bug. The bug is just a device. It's a open source platform and you can uh, pop in modules, bug modules, like uh, screens, keyboards, GPS things, uh, port, connector, port connectors, that sort of stuff. And they can program it to do whatever you want it to be. And uh, it can do more than one thing at the same time. So it's convenient and uh, it's small, you can carry it wherever you want and you program it. So that started this whole kind of revolution in uh, modern day technology. So, in the past, you'd usually have to uh, carry lots of stuff with you. Say, yeah, a student is going to need a flash drive, a student is going to need an iPod, a student is going uh, is going to need lots of stuff for school. A student might need a uh, presentation remote, and uh, all that sorts of stuff. And other people across multiple, I mean, businesses, like uh, IT support and server management, they're going to need something, a computer that is small, like a netbook, that they can uh, take wherever they go with them, but uh, you can, they can access their servers, their file servers, their web servers, their, check that everything's working out okay, and fix problems remotely wherever they are. Um, people use things like the uh, PSP or the Nintendo DS, which is a portable gaming console but it's expensive and it only plays games, maybe surf the web. So companies like uh, Apple have kind of revolutionized this idea from the bug with products like the iPhone and the iPod Touch and their platform. So here you go, I have the iPod Touch with me. And uh, I'm going to talk to you about what this little device can do instead of replacing all the other ones I previously, previously mentioned that can go up all the way to $1,500, which is just too expensive. So, I mean, the iPod Touch comes pretty blank, so it's the iPhone. Can't do much, can surf the web, can play your music, it replaces an iPod, but uh, still, it isn't that functional. But also comes with a App Store and a uh, platform, to, uh, which is very easy based on Java, to develop for this device. So you can uh, log in with your iPod or your computer and buy applications that extend the functionality, like seriously extends the functionality. So uh, what did we previously mention? The flash drive? Uh, these things come around 16 gigabytes, 32, 8 gigabytes of uh, storage. You can use that as a flash drive on multiple computers at the same time and even wirelessly. Um, use it as a uh, presentation remote. Well, you can buy an app for two dollars and uh, pr um, do your whole presentation on the iPod. And plus, you can uh, read your notes, read the next slides. It's really, really powerful. Um, it's also an iPod, and you can uh, write your notes on it. You can record video, and photo, and ev evidence on the device. And uh, up to the IT support and server people, you can access all your servers over SSH with the applications for this. You can uh, go into your computers and use them from this and uh, you can also uh, use the web to make sure that everything's working out alright. Graphic designers usually when working with multi-monitor setups they uh, would buy one or two USB touch screens. It's like small four or seven inches but uh, you can basically do the same thing with an iPod touch. Hook it up to your uh, rig and it can display uh, stuff from Photoshop or Adobe Premiere, Final Effects, whatever you're using and you can use that extra space. And um, another thing that's happening with the iPod Touch and the iPhone is because it's very very powerful and because it is so popular with the user base now exceeding uh, I believe 10 million users, you can um, play games on it. So now wherever you are you can buy games over this wireless network thing you can buy it from your computer. So uh, the newest FIFA installment, the newest Need for Speed, 
installment, even FPS games like Metal Gear Solid or Call of Duty, all of them are coming out on the gaming consoles, the PSP, the Nintendo DS, but as of a few months ago, they are also coming out on the iPhone. Other games, uh, some guy decided to make a Tetris game with his free time, and now he is a multi-millionaire, just because uh, so many people liked it and they bought it. It is very, very powerful what this app store can do. So, uh, in conclusion, I'd like to uh, say that in the past we had to carry lots and lots of electronic devices. They were expensive, they were not convenient, but today we can uh, just carry one thing and it just does a one size fits all. It is not as expensive, you can get one of these things for $300 and uh, it can do everything else and this is the future. Thank you very much. Abdullah Shakachi from Qatar Academy.